Hi, welcome to the RPB Resonance Commission. Now we are going to discuss about uh, spinals and inverse spinals structures. Spinals and inverse spinals structure. Inverse spinals structure. So these are spinals and inverse spinals, one of the factors of a uh, crystal field stabilization energy, one of the factors of crystal field stabilization energy. Now, the spinals and the inverse spinals, one of the form of a solid crystal structure, solid crystal structure, like a, a rootly structure, cesium chloride, rock salt structure, Parvovsky structures, this is one of the solid structure, solid crystal structure. Now, in this, in this case of spinals, is made up of metallic oxides, metallic oxides so here in metallic cases maybe metals present either transition metals or non transition metals metals are both transition as well as non transition metals transitions as well as non transition metals in this metallic oxides oxide present at a o minus 2 state o minus 2 that means it is a high spin complexes so in case of metallic oxide that means either spinals or inverse spinals the oxide ligands or oxide ligand is high spin complexes is high spin that means weak field ligand that means weak field ligand so in high spin complexes o minus 2 generally the o minus 2 is present at a fcc or cubic closed packing structure it having the FCC or cubic closed packing structure. So now the general structure of FCC like this. Now I will shown here the general structure of FCC. So that means uh, the FCC means so the face centered face centered one. I will show in the below diagram. So now the face centered one. So atoms present at corners as well as atoms. Corners at the face centers that the, such type of structure as, uh, is called uh, FCC structure. FCC structure. Now the FCC structure having FCC stru uh, structure containing four atoms. So now we discussed these four atoms calculation in solid state uh, lectures. In solid state uh, lectures. So now FCC if one spinal forms from the eight FCC units. From 8 FCC units. One spinal can form to the 8 FCC units. 8 FCC. That means uh, 8 FCC means 8, uh, 8 FCC structures having 8 for 32 atoms. 8 for 32 atoms. So now here uh, spinal means uh, general, the general representation of spinal like this AB2O4 or A3O4. These two are the general representation. Here, one of the metal, one of the metal in plus two oxidation state, one of the metal in plus three oxidation state, one of the metal in plus two, and one of the metal in plus three oxidation state. Such type of structures are called normal spinals or general spinals. So, which have quite opposite. Uh, so, uh, plus two and plus three is reverse. In case of the inverse spinals, we will discuss this some some uh, sometime later. We will discuss the later. So, this is the spinal structure. This is the spinal structure. Now, here it having the plus two and plus three metallic states. So, plus two and plus three metallic states. Here, if plus two occupies the tetrahedral whites, tetrahedral whites. Again, plus three occupies octahedral whites. Octahedral whites. So, what about whites? Why uh, or plus two uh, occupies tetrahedral whites? Uh, plus three occupies octahedral whites. Why we will discuss that clearly. In this case, we will write here plus two tetrahedral, plus three octahedral. Those are called normal spinal. Those are called normal spinal. In FCC FCC face centered system, so it having. One unit of uh, octahedral wide, two units of uh, tetrahedral wide. So wide means uh, tetrahedral means uh, here it is a molecule which is made up uh, like uh, a tetrahedral manner. This is the tetrahedral. Now in in between the tetrahedral atoms uh, here there is some empty space is there. Those empty is called a wide. So which wide present in the tetrahedral shape. That's why it is called a tetrahedral wide. That's why it is called tetrahedral wide. Whenever 
it having the like octahedral shape so if y present at the octahedral i, I did not write it clearly now i'll do so one is here one is here which is one is upper one and one is a lower one here this vacant site is called octahedral y this vacant site is nothing but octahedral y so in general fcc structure it having one tetrahedral wide and uh, one one unit of tetrahedral wide two units uh, sorry one unit of octahedral wide two units of uh, tetrahedral wide so each atom uh, fcc means uh, one atom containing four atoms that's why here tetrahedral wide so here four atoms means here it contains two tetrahedral two, two units of tetrahedral wides one unit one unit is equal to the four atoms that means two units is equal to the eight atoms so here tetrahedral wides are eight atoms now in fcc units the tetrahedral wides are eight that means in fcc structure it having eight tetrahedral wides and octahedral wides are only one unit means four so now we can conclude the relation between the tetrahedral and the octahedral. Tetrahedral is equal to 2 into octahedral. Is it right or wrong? If tetrahedral, we want to tetrahedral, yeah, 2 into octahedral wide are 4. Then we will calculate the tetrahedral is equal to 2 into 4. That means uh, 8. We will get the relation. Now here tetrahedral is equal to 2 into octahedral. Tetrahedral is equal to 2 into octahedral. Now what we conclude? So here one spinal having eight FCC units. Each FCC units uh, tetrahedral weights are eight, octahedral weights are four. In tetrahedral, tetrahedral weights present at the in the tetrahedral weights. Listen carefully. So this is the tetrahedral weight. So in the tetrahedral weight, so plus two atom is present in tetrahedral weight. So it's a small gap is there that uh, that gap occupies by the plus two metal. So then it's said to be normal spinal. Again, in octahedral whites, in octahedral whites, plus 3 occupier. So here, in case of octahedral whites, which is occupied by the plus 3 configuration, then it's said to be normal spinal. Then it's said to be normal spinal. Now, how, how to calculate the contribution or uh, formation of the spinals and normal spinals? Now here, so in case of oxygen calculation, in case of oxygen calculation. Now, just a minute. Now, uh, in case of oxygen calculation, now oxygen occupies the FCC center. O oxygen occupies the FCC center. FCC having the eight units, eight FCC one spinal having the eight FCC units. Each eight, eight FCC units having the four atoms. Okay, listen carefully. One spinal having the eight FCC. One spinal having the eight FCC. Each FCC having the four. That means eight fours are thirty-two oxygen atoms uh, occupies in only one one spinal thirty-two oxygen atoms. So listen carefully. In one spinal which having the eight FCC, eight FCC each FCC having four atoms. That means uh, thirty-two oxygen atoms present uh, present in a spinal structure. Present in a spinal structure. Now what about uh, tetrahedral wides? That means here plus two atoms. So the number of plus two metal atoms in tetrahedral wide in tetrahedral wide. So generally tetrahedral wide it contributes tetrahedral wide it contributes one by eight pot. So if a eight pot is there, uh, the like it is a corner of the cube. Let us assume it is not a corner. So tetrahedral wide is equal to one by eight pot. Now octahedral wide is equal to one by second pot. One by second pot. Now here, so in case of a plus two atom in tetrahedral the number of plus two metal at metallic atoms in tetrahedral wires like this so now here we have the one by eight contribution now one spinal having the eight fcc centers eight fcc centers as well as now tetra the number of tetrahedral wires are eight so one is contribution so num eight fcc units now second one is number of tetrahedral wides so it having the eight tetrahedral wides each tetrahedral wide occupied by the plus two atom so that's why we calculate everything now here eight eight is cancelled now we will get eight plus two atoms present eight plus two atoms now here 32 oxygen atoms and eight plus two atoms are present now in case of the number of plus three atoms in octahedral wide is equal to, so which which is occupied which is uh, Occupied one by second part, one by second part. Again, 
here it having the eight FCC units. These are the FCC units. Now the octahedral number of octahedral bytes are four. Number of octahedral bytes are four. Now cancel to each other. Now here cancellation takes place. Four fours are sixteen atoms. Sixteen plus three atoms present in spinal. Now finally we will get a, a normal spinal molecular formation. Molecular formation. Now. A spinal it contains A, B2, O4. Now we will discuss uh, previously A, B2, O4. So here A means plus 2, B means plus 3, O means oxide ion. So now we will get the ratio of the molecular formation whether it is A, B2. Sorry, we don't know the A, B2, O4 or not. So now we will calculate the metallic oxide. Metallic oxide. How, how do you write uh, like A, B2, O4? Now we will get go through them. So now the metallic oxide is, so the number of oxygen atoms plus 2 atoms are, plus 2 atoms are 8, plus 2 and plus 3 and oxides is equal to 8 as well as 16 as well as 32, 8, 16, 32. That means here 8, 1, 0, 8, 2, 0, 8, 4, 0. So 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 4. So here A plus 2 means A, A is only one atom plus 3 means B, B is 2 atoms, O means oxide, it having the O4. Now finally we will get A, B2, O4. This is the normal structure. This is the normal structure. In this structure, here plus 2 atoms occupies the tetrahedral whites, plus 3 atoms occupies the octahedral whites. Here plus 2 atoms which contribute the 1 by 8th portion. Now plus 3 atoms which contributes the 1 by 2nd portion, 1 by 2nd portion. Now how do you confirm the whether it is a, sp a spinal structure or inverse spinal structure? Now we will discuss the, how they are contribute in inverse spinal structure, invert spinal structure. Let us, let us go with the spinals and inverse spinals differentiation. Now let us take this small differentiation. It is a spinal. It is inverse spinal. Spinal, which is a inverse spinal. So the general representation of spinal. Now we we will we will construct the general formation of the spinal uh, with the help of uh, knowing formulas like FCC contribution like that. Now here the spinal means A, B two, O four. Not not only oxygen. So here in case of spinals, not only oxygens, maybe sulfurs or seleniums are also present. A, B2, X4 is the general representation. A, A, B2, X4 is the general representation. Now here, spinal means A, B2, O4. Here the square bracket indicates uh, octahedral. Now here, uh, the uh, left side of the square bracket indicates a tetrahedral position. So all this oxygen ions occupy at FCC centers. Occupy at FCC centers. Now here, tetrahedral present, plus 2 present tetrahedral wide, plus 3 present octahedral wide. Then it's said to be normal, normal spinal structure. Now, plus 2 methyl at tetrahedral wide. Now, plus 3 metal at octahedral wide then it's said to be normal spinal then it's said to be normal spinal now here a is equal to b also possible a is equal to b also possible then main examples are mn3 o4 or co3 co4 co3 o4 so these are the best examples regarding to the spinals now we will we will uh, calculate the those of spinals and inverse spinals how they are uh, spinal or how they are inverse spinal how how it is uh, decided okay just a minute okay now the inverse spinal structure so inverse spinal means it is a uh, like a general representation of inverse like this o4 okay so here also square bracket indicates uh, Octahedral, left side the square bracket indicates tetrahedral. So uh, here, here in in the tetrahedral whites, plus three atoms are present at tetrahedral whites. Listen carefully. And so now we'll go with a, a regular manner. Plus two, we will write plus 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 two. Plus two metal occupies plus two metal occupies at octahedral white. Now here plus 3 metal occupies equally shared plus 3 metal present at the tetrahedral wide as well as octahedral wide so plus 3 metal can occupy both tetrahedral wide 
as well as orthohedral wire then it's said to be inverse spinal then it's said to be inverse spinal listen carefully now here in case of spinals so plus 3 occupies only octahedral wire plus 2 occupies only tetrahedral wire now here in case of inverse spinal so plus 2 occupies octahedral wire only plus 2 occupies octahedral wire only but uh, plus 3 metal occupies a tetrahedral wire as well as octahedral wire both are 50 percent 50 percent so that means here we have the two atoms uh, in a spinal so one of the atom which occupies the tetrahedral wire one of the atoms which occupies the octahedral wire then such type of structures are called inverse spinals uh, such type of structures are called inverse spinals now let us go with uh, a simple explanation regarding to the uh, uh, classification of uh, spinals and inverse spinals not a classification so now we will decided whether it is a spinal structure or inverse spinal structure so with the help of a simple trick with the help of a simple trick now so several books are uh, either housecraft as well as Wuhi. so they are given in a very uh, well-known manner but uh, Shriver Sutkins they, are, they didn't give in the like spinals and uh, in those spinal structures. Now we'll go with uh, those standard books. So very well known manner they are given. Now, so let us go with here plus three CFSA. So we have discussed uh, in startingly. It is also an, exp uh, an application of CFSA. That's why we'll go. We will use the CFSA values in here. So CFSA value. So plus three CFSE value in octahedral. Listen carefully. Now we are discussing about octahedral is greater than that of a plus two CFSE value. Then it's said to be normal spinal. Then it's said to be normal spinal. So they are given in very clear manner in the Housecraft book. Okay. Now plus two CFSE value in octahedral is greater than that of plus three CFSE. So this is only one point is remembered. So very easier. Now plus three CFSC value after hydral is greater than that of plus two CFSC value. Now we are in case of plus two CFSC value in after hydral is greater than that of plus three CFSC value after hydral also. Then it's said to be inverse spinal. Inverse spinal. Inverse spinal. Now so some of the exceptions are there. So here F E A L two O four. It obeys the second law, but it is a normal spine. It obeys the second law. So, according to inverse spinal, it, it, it obeys the inverse spinal rule, but it is a normal spinal. So, those uh, such type of exceptions are also there. Here it is exception. It is a normal spinal. Iron aluminum oxide is a normal spinal. Now, we'll go with some of the example. How they are decided whether it is a spinal or inverse spinal. Now, we will write the small box. Now, here, tetrahedral wide, octahedral wide, plus two, plus 3. So, plus 2 present the, so now we will go with, uh, sorry, here plus 2, plus 3. It is normal spinal and inverse spinal. So, if normal spinal, that means plus 2 occupies tetrahedral wide, plus 3 occupies octahedral wide. Now, we are in case of inverse spinal, so here inverse spinal plus 2 occupies octahedral wide, but plus 3 occupies both 50% uh, of octahedral, 50% of uh, tetrahedral wire 50% of octahedral 50% of tetrahedral which helps to uh, decide the CF, uh, uh, normal or inverse spinal normal or inverse spinal so these two rules are very useful generally plus 3 oxidation state plus 3 CFSC value not oxidation state plus 3 CFSC value is greater than that of the plus 2 then it's said to be normal spinal plus 2 is greater than that of the plus 3 then it's said to be inverse spinal let us go with the uh, small examples so now the first one is MN3O4. MN3O4. Now here this classification we can write here like this. MN MN2O4. MN MN2O4. Now here in case we will get the MN plus 2 molecule, MN plus 3 molecule. We know that MN plus 2 means D5 configuration, MN plus 3 means D4 configuration. Let us calculate the D4 and D5 CFSC values. D4 and D5 CFSC. D4 means it is a plus 3. D5 means it is a plus 2. So now D4. So here oxide ions obeys only a weak field, weak field again. That means it is only high spin complexes. That's why here no pairing. Now 1, 2, 3, 4. So D5 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
So I am calculating this example only, uh, remaining example. So if you want the calculation of CFS eval, I will give the link, I will give the link above. So please uh, uh, see the calculation of CFS values. Now here, so 3 plus 1, 4. Now according to the calculation of CFS, uh, D2G orbital contributes minus 0 0.4 plus uh, EG orbital contributes 0 0.6. Now we will get minus 1.2 plus 0 0.6 that means minus 0 0.6 delta O. Here it is. When we con convert it into D DQs, it is minus 6 DQ. Now here in case 3 into minus 0 0.4 plus 2 into 0 0.6 that means um, minus 1.2 plus 1.20. So now here we will get the value. So here the negative sign means very center below, not the value, it is not negative value. Okay. Now here 6 dq, here 0 dq. That means here 6 dq is higher. 6 dq present whether it is a plus 3 or plus 2 state, plus 3 CFSC value is greater than that of a plus 2 CFSC. So that means it is normal spinal or inverse spinal. So it is normal spinal. It is normal spinal. Okay. So let us go with the second example. Now we will go with the second example that is Fe3O4, Fe3O4, just a minute. Okay, Fe3O4, now it is Fe plus 2, Fe plus 3, Fe plus 2 means D6 configuration, Fe plus 4 means D5, we know that CFSC value of D5 is equal to 0, so CFSC value of D6, I think uh, uh, we are already aware about uh, CFSC calculation that means T2G4 is 2, T2G4 is 2, now we will get a 0 0.4 delta O, 0 0.4 delta O. Now here plus 2 is greater than the plus 3, so uh, plus 2 is greater than the plus 3 CFSC value, that means it is inverse spinal, that means it is inverse spinal. So these are the examples to calculate the whether the spinal is inverted or normal spinal, whether spinals are inverted or normal spinals. Now we will go with some of the hints to find the spinals or inverse spinals. Every year I get common question from the spinals. I think 2020 they are not given in the spinals. So except 2020 they are given in the regular questions from get. Now we will go with a four rules, very easier rules, uh, I did not give the whether it is a transition or non transition I will go with very simple and manner, so according to some of the standard book. So, so here the first one is metallic AL2O4, metallic AL2O4, that means here square bracket indicates octahedral wide, so square bracket metal present at the octahedral wide according to our previous uh, previous uh, like a uh, lecture sorry not previous lecture our starting starting topic so m al2 o4 now here all ml m al2 o4 are normal spinals normal spinals but uh, except nickel al2 o4 nickel al2 o4 here m is equal to mg plus 2 or mn plus 2 uh, iron plus 2, cobalt plus 2, nickel plus 2. Here copper does not form the uh, like a spinal structure. So with aluminum only, not uh, others. With aluminum cannot form the uh, spinal structure. Now Zn plus 2. So here all the plus 2 cations will form the normal spinals with uh, aluminum except nickel. Except nickel. Why? Because nickel having the Nickel plus 2 means it having the D8 configuration. So the D8 configuration always occupies the octahedral position. Always occupies the octahedral position rather than the tetrahedral. Rather than the tetrahedral. So if plus 2 occupies the octahedral position according to our table, plus 2 occupies the octahedral position, then it is inverse spinal, not the normal spinal. That's why it is inverse spinal. So it is a random inverted spinal. Random inverted spinal. So, this inverted spinal was calculated by the lambda, which is the fraction of uh, B present in tetrahedral Y. In tetrahedral Y. Now, here the lambda value approximately 0 0.338. The lambda value approximately 0 0.38. If lambda is equal to 0, then it is a normal spinal. I will write here. If lambda is equal to 0, then it is a normal spinal. If lambda is equal to 0 0.5, it is inverse spinal. 
lumbar spinal. Some of the mixed spinals are also there. We'll discuss the end of the class. End of the class. So according to aluminium, aluminium plus three chemistry, aluminium plus three spinal chemistry. So except nickel, all the metal atoms can form the normal spinal structures. Normal spinal structures. So let us let us take the examples. Mg Al two O four. Mg Al two O four. This is previous gate question. Mg Al two O four. So here both are the non-transitional metals. So both non-transitional metals are also normal spinals. Normal spinal. So here it is a normal spinal. Now uh, let us take the another example. Mn Al two O four. So it is also normal spinal. It is also normal spinal. Let us take the such type of example. Like instead of Mn, we will take the Fe Al two O four, cobalt Al two O four, zinc Al two O four, zinc Al two O four. These all are Normal spinals. These all are normal spinals. Now we'll go with a, another another one. So this is the first check regarding to the aluminium. Now the second one is regarding to the chromium. So metal with Cr two O four, which is also all are normal spinals. There is no exception. There is no exception. So every metal can possesses with uh, uh, normal spinal structures only. Can possesses with normal spinal structures. Those metals which were based the normal spinal structure with Cr two O four is Mg plus two, Mn plus two, Iron plus two, Cobalt plus two, Nickel plus two, Copper plus two, here Zinc plus two. Here Copper also can forms the normal spinal structure with Chromium. So generally Manganese two. Zinc. This is the three D series. Magnesium to zinc as well as magnesium plus two. So it is a very easier trick. Very very easier trick. Let us take the another example. Mg Cr two O four is a normal spinal. Normal spinal. So now again, Mn Cr two O four is a normal spinal. Now Zn Cr two O four is a normal spinal. So these are the examples regarding to the spinals, regarding to the chromium spinals, chromium plus three spinals. Okay. Now let us go with the third one. Now let us go with the third specification. So according to the third specification, so here metal, the Fe three O four. Here iron chemistry, iron spinal structures. But here all the iron atoms are inverse spinals, inverse spinals. Except zinc metal. Except zinc metal. Now here we will go with a zinc metal. So here M is equal to Mg plus two, like a Mn plus two, like an iron plus two, cobalt plus two, nickel plus two, copper plus two, zinc plus two. Here zinc plus two cannot obey the normal uh, inverse spinal. It is the normal spinal zinc. So not F E three, F E two. So zinc F E two O four is normal spinal. Okay. So here zinc F E two O four means uh, so here zinc plus two as well as iron plus two structures or both uh, radii of the these three F E plus three and uh, F E plus two are similar. So the radii are comparatively similar. That's why those forms the normal spinal structure. Those forms the normal spinal structures except the remaining all or the Inverted spinals, all are the inverse spinals. So let us take the another examples. Mg Fe two O four, inverse spinals. So Mg Mn Fe two O four, inverse spinals. So like uh, M Fe two, like uh, M means uh, cobalt Fe two O four, inverse spinal. Nickel Fe two O four, inverse spinal. So these are the inverted spinal structures. These are the inverted spinal structures. Now we have the some of the plus two classification. Now we will discuss the Three of the examples. Now we'll go with the final one. Okay. So the final fourth one is uh, with respect to plus two. So if plus two metal is zinc with a B two O three, zinc with B two O three. Here it is zinc. The, those B metals are aluminium plus three, or chromium plus three, or iron plus three. Okay. So or uh, like a uh, cobalt plus three. Everything. With a uh, zinc metal, they can they can possess us with a normal spinal structure zone. So zinc, uh, along with all these metals, uh, at plus two oxidation state, it forms the normal spinal. It forms the normal spinal structure. 
normal spinal structure. Now, the, uh, another classification is, I think, which are very useful. I think it is understood, under understanding. Uh, I think uh, it is very helpful to find the uh, whether the spinal st uh, whether the structure is a spinal or inverted spinal. We will use the four rules. So first, the uh, first thing is if plus three CFSC value is greater than the plus two, then it is normal. Quite opposite is uh, inverted spinal. Again, uh, with the uh, with the help of that rule, we can also classify the other four rules. One is uh, aluminium, except nickel. Uh, all the aluminium are uh, normal spinals. Again, chromiums are also normal spinals. Or uh, next one is irons, except uh, uh, I think uh, except zinc. All are the inverted spinals. The fourth one in in, in presence of a plus two zinc, all are the normal spinals. In case of a plus two zinc, all are the normal spinals. But uh, exceptionally, the final thing is MnFeO2O4. Okay, here. Both the Mn Mn present at plus two oxidation state, iron plus present at plus three oxidation state. Mn plus two means D5 configuration, Fe plus two means D5 configuration. These these two are CFSC values are zero. If both the CFSC values are zero, then we say that the both the similar atoms, the size of the atoms are also same, very closer. Mn plus two and iron plus three very closer to each other. Very closer to each other. They are based on their ionic radii. If the sizes are equal. They are either CFSC value equal, then it's said to be normal spinal structure. Sorry, mixed spinal structure. So then it's said to be mixed spinals. Mixed spinals. So some of the magnesium Fe2O4 also it forms the mixed spinals. It forms the mixed spinals. So these two are the mixed spinals. Again, Zn Fe2O4 are the normal spinal. I think which is came from the recent get uh, 2019 or 2018. Okay. So these these, uh, these are the classification regarding to the spinals or inverted spinals. In the in the next lecture, I will explain the some of the I will solve the some of the example which are given in the previous year CSAR gate regarding to the spinals and the normal spinal structure. Okay, if you like the video, share, comment, and subscribe it, and and share to your younger siblings or your friends, etc. So thank you for watching.